Hey everyone, this is Bub031 here again, and this time I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step video for you. It'll be on the Sylvan Barrel Ore Cars. These ones here that I have in front of me, I have 8 out of the 10 right now. These were built by GVO, aka Go Be or Go Home, my buddy Chris. And I'm going to do the final product to it, as in painting, weathering, deckling, etc. I'll show you the step-by-steps, I'll show you what I'll use. So, just sit back. Relax and enjoy. <laughs> Okay, now that we have the intro out of the way, let's continue on. So, I'm going to name off the stuff that I'm going to be using to get these cars done. As you can see, we have the Sylvan Ore car. They either come in a box of five or a single. And usually, and this is the short barrel ore car. There's also the long barrel ore car. They also come with decals, as you can see here. It's either going to be in Ontario Northland or in CN color, CN decals. As well, you're going to have a nice warm cup of water. It's for the decals to set so that you can place it onto the model. Screwdriver to take off the trucks. You want two sets of tweezers. One to hold the decal for when you are letting it sit after dunking it. And another set for holding it in place while using the brush. As well, you're going to need a small brush for flattening the decal off onto the model and for weathering. An X-Acto knife to cut the decals out nice and neatly. Some solvent for the decals to sit. Once, that's, once, the, uh, once you have it in a good place, you put that on there so that it sits there flat and doesn't move. Some pigment for weathering. And as well, I have two different styles of paints and a matte, matte, uh, matte varnish, anti-shine varnish. So for the paint, I have oxidized red. This is gonna be the main color. Even though it's a primer, I use this as the main color. For the primer, I actually use a flat black paint. And as you can see why, I will tell you earlier later in the video. You want to make sure for when you're painting that it's going to be in a nice, well-ventilated area. And before you set any decals onto the, your model, you want to let that paint sit. So, now that we've got that, let's continue on. All right, so before we start with any of the painting or anything like that, we're going to take the wheels off, a.k.a. the trucks. Take your time with them. You don't want to strip the screws. I can tell you that right now. I almost did that a couple of times on some other cars, like some actual brand names that were built, and I and I almost stripped the heads up, the uh, heads off the screws where I couldn't actually tighten it back on, and I had to put new screws to it. As well, another piece to use. I didn't come by that, but these little empty Smarty boxes. Great stand for when you're painting. Now that that's done, I'm gonna move these out of the way. And with movie magic, we're gonna go move on to the next phase. So let me just be in mind for you. When you guys do paint these, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area and you make sure that you have protection on. Let the paint sit as well. Don't try and do anything to it until the paint settled for like 12 to 18 hours. Okay, so let's crack on. So, as you can see, that is two coats on. You can actually see some of the black there. That'll actually help with some of the weathering. But I think it came out really good. I like how the color came. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to be doing some deckling. Now, bear with me. This is part of the process that takes the longest. I'll just show you with the first piece here. You 
want to make your cuts nice and slow. Deckling takes a process and takes time. This is where most of your time does eat up. There. So, we got that piece out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cup of water. We're gonna dunk it in. Take off as much water as you can, and you're gonna let that sit. As well, or what you can do is with a brush, you can sort of massage the water in onto the decal to make it wet. There we go. And now it's, hopefully it's lukewarm enough. If it's, it should be movable on the plaid, once that's done, it's almost there. Careful. You don't, you want to definitely take your time with this. I can tell you that right now. If it doesn't want to come off, keep soaking it. Just put more water to it. Let the transfer, let it work and do its thing. just really does not. It really likes to take its time, I can tell you that right now. I mean, this is really, really delicate. Really delicate. Especially if the decal starts tearing a bit, you wanna definitely take your time Try and save as much as you can so that it doesn't get destroyed or anything like that. Because sometimes the deco could be also too brittle to put back to put onto the uh, car itself. I was going to say, it takes time. This is where the other set of tweezers comes in. There you go. That's off for now. So what you can do is to try and fix it. Like so. You 
and I'll show you a quick little way. Oh, there we go. It actually is back together. Okay. Now that that part's done, immediately I'm going to add solvent to it. That way there, it sets and closes off. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna move on to the next phase, which is decaling the rest of this thing, uh, this rest of this car. So just bear with me. Okay, so as you can see, here's the finished deckled car with the numbers and everything on the end. It does take a while for it to sit, like I said. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to weathering. So you're gonna take your Bellagio. And you're just gonna start dry brushing it on. like so. And you're gonna go all the way around the car. It does take a bit to get all this done. Also, you want to make sure you clean off the excess and all that. Yeah. Sorry, it took quite a bit with the last segment. Like I said, decals, it takes forever to let them set. You want to make sure they are set properly. Okay, so that's that for now. I'm gonna move on to the next segment and show you the finished product of what I've done with a car earlier. Okay, so here's one of my finished cars done. And I can tell you right now, it takes a little bit to get done. So I got the ends finished up, both sides completed. As you can see here, what I did to seal that all in so that your hands don't get grimy was that once I put on the pop, the uh, the pigments, I used a matte varnish. This is the stuff I use. It's a matte varnish, basically an anti shine. It seals it all in. This way here, your decals, everything, it's all good to go. Now. We're going to quickly wrap this up and I'll put all the cars together just to show you the process of what I what it goes through to actually get them done. Okay everyone so that's basically it on these Sylvan barrel ore cars from going from built to looking like plain white with nothing on it to weathered and ready to go. As you can see it's a bit of a process to get done. I still got quite a few cars here to do to get them done for GVO, AKA Go Veer Go Home. And I wanna just thank everyone for watching. Hope you guys learned something. And as always, make sure the signal's green and keep moving down the line.